Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your 2016 um, yearly overviews. This reading is for Aquarius. Okay, so um, this looks like a pretty good year for you. Um, it looks like you'll be in charge of in con or in control this year. Okay, and you've got some pretty good opportunities coming in. So uh, let's just start in January. So you start the year with the Two of Pentacles. So that means a choice you have to make in January or having to balance uh, multiple tasks or projects or jobs or responsibilities at the same time. Um, a couple of people, juggling a couple of people at the same time for some of you, so be uh, careful with that um, kind of um, energy. Um, with the two of pentacles, as long as you keep a positive attitude to things, you will be able to do all the things you need to do, at all the tasks you need to do, um, all the projects you need to take care of all at the same time, okay, provided you keep a positive attitude. You will be successful in keeping all the balls in the air, okay? Um, for some of you, this is asking you to make a choice. This is asking you to think about your long-term future. So whatever that means for you, this is a general reading, so um, it will be something different for everybody. Um, but it's asking you to look at your long-term future and make a decision now that will positively influence your long-term future, if that makes sense. Okay, so if you have to choose between two things, choose um, the thing or the person or the job or whatever um, that will be in your life longer okay that has more potential um, long-term potential than the other okay okay in February we have the five of wands so with the five of wands this is dynamic energy this can be competitive energy for some of you um, if this is competitive energy, then know that you will be the winner, okay? You have all the wands in your boat, so you have won all of those wands, and now you're ready to take on the next challenge. Um, this could also be on-the-job training or some kind of coaching that you need to um, take part in, or that you will be taking part in. Um, this is very fiery energy. You have a lot of wands um, cards in your reading okay so this year is going to be very um, dynamic very fiery a lot of things will be happening for you um, things will move forward for you you will be doing um, a lot of things uh, some of them all at the same time okay um, it will be a fast paced year for you so definitely just keep the momentum going okay you'll have a lot of um, energy to help you move forward, okay? It's like you're being helped by um, the universe or God or your angels, uh, whatever you believe in, you're being helped. They put all this energy behind you to push you forward this year, okay? So definitely take advantage of that and make sure you um, manifest and develop the things, the relationships, the jobs that you want to develop, okay? To, that you want to grow. So with the Five of Wands, it is you taking on the world, okay? So you are feeling brave, confident, prepared. Um, you may have to resolve a certain situation, it may be down to you, okay? But you're more than inspired enough to do it, so don't uh, stress about it. I feel like you will be called in to fix something, okay? Or you will be someone's last resort and it will be all down to you, okay, and you're charging in and um, just tackling that situation head on. Um, but this is success and progress, okay, in the face of adversity. In March, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles talks about new energy when it comes to your career and finances, okay, so this is an offer being extended to you, this is things moving forward, 
Um, so it can be a job offer or a promotion or some kind of advancement in your career um, that expands your finances, okay? Um, this is something that has been a long time in the making. The Knight of Pentacles takes his time. He does things right, he does things properly. He allows for things to unfold before taking the next step. Okay, there are no shortcuts with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and because everything is done in the proper way, you can trust the offer he's extended to extending to you. Okay, you can trust it, it's real, it's very much solid. And he has a plan for the future, okay? So, provided you take this offer and put in the work, you will definitely... Um, success is guaranteed with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? For some of you, you may be holding back in a certain situation or in a relationship. Uh, you may be holding back and waiting to see what else happens. Or you're holding back and testing someone or a situation. Testing the waters in some way. Um, if you feel that is the right thing to do, definitely follow your intuition. Okay? If you feel like uh, you shouldn't move forward just yet, just hold back and see what happens. Okay? Don't um, share everything with everyone just yet. Okay? Give, give the situation some time to unfold, I'm getting. In April, you have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is letting me know that in April you are in control of your aspirations and your goals. Um, you are managing your ambitions very well. You are, again, very well prepared for taking the next step. Okay, whatever that is for you, whatever that means for you. Whether that is in your job, your career, or your uh, family life, your love life, your friendships. Um, you have everything in order. You know where everything goes. Uh, you're very much on track. You have a plan. You're sticking to it. You have been through a lot already. The worst has passed. You have stuck to your guns. Okay, you stood your ground. And you're almost done. Okay, you're almost at the completion phase of this situation or project or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest at this time. The message of the Nine of Wands is persevere. Okay, so you may feel like you're tired or you want to give up or you just want to slow things down. With the Nine of Wands in there, it's telling you that things are happening for you. Stick with it, definitely. Okay. Things are moving in the direction that you want them to. You just need to hold on and keep the momentum going just a little while longer. And in May, you have the Sun card. Okay, so in May, it can be that whatever you have been working very hard on, in May, it comes to fruition, it comes to completion, um, it manifests, it happens, it comes to reality. Um, because this is success, this is celebration, this is um, feeling like your life is beautiful, you have everything you need, you have everything you could ever want. Um, this is immense success, okay, great victory. Uh, this is a time when you are very proud of yourself, very confident, very inspired, okay, um, and you are also a role model others okay so be aware of that um, everyone is looking up to you and everyone is coming to you for guidance and advice on how they can be more like you um, so this will be celebrations this is a lot of socializing um, this is you being in the center of attention everyone wanting to be around you wanting to work with you wanting to be with you um, so this is definitely your time to shine okay um, you will be rewarded, you will be um, acclaimed, you will receive credit, um, you will receive um, any kind of 
any kind of reward that it is that applies to you, okay, in this situation, it, again, it will be something different for everyone. But it's like the coronation of, of something, okay? It's like you receiving the praise that you deserve so much and you feeling proud of your accomplishments and confident within yourself to move forward onto bigger and better things, okay? So definitely enjoy this time, definitely celebrate, okay? Spend time with the people you, you trust, spend time with the people who are close to you. Um, allow yourself to have some fun, okay? You have earned it, you deserve this. You have um, worked a lot, okay? So now things are finally happening for you. Um, it's okay for you to just celebrate for a while. <coughs> In June, we have the Ten of Swords, and the Ten is the Ten of Swords is an ending of a difficult situation. Okay, it is the completion of that. Um, so every anything that you've been dealing with, that you've been going back and forth on, that has been causing you stress, that has been causing you anxiety and grief. Um, it is finally coming to an end. Okay, now the Ten of Swords has popped up in a lot of readings. So I guess a lot of us are doing healing this year and letting go of old situations that have been dragging us down or holding us back. Um, so for you, this can be, it, it can be anything really, okay? It's, regardless of the area of life this applies to, it is something you've been working very, very hard on, something that has taken its toll on you that has given you nightmares and stress and anxiety uh, you've you felt like you're just banging your head against the wall like nothing's happening no matter what you do nothing changes for the better um, it is a very frustrating situation that you have been dealing with for months or even years okay and this situation is finally ending for you you're finally moving forward from it and you feel free um, of it okay um, and even though you thought um, the situation ended a few times in the past, this is the real thing, okay? It's finally over. So rejoice in that. Uh, count your blessings. Take your lessons with you and leave this situation behind, okay? In July, we have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups talks about feeling bored or discontent or um, not feeling like doing much um, so this may cause you to miss an opportunity okay this is often the card of missed opportunity so be aware that in July there will be <coughs> an opportunity presented to you okay some kind of invitation addressed to you some kind of offer extended to you um, again this will be anything okay job offer invitation to go out, peace offering, um, any kind of invitation, okay, any kind of opportunity. Um, because you're feeling a bit bored, you may miss this opportunity. So the message of the Four of Cups is keep your eyes open, try to be grateful for what you have and look to the future, okay? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, don't focus on the things you've accomplished to the point where that is all you see and you are stuck in that uh, place with everything that you have accomplished, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. But you're not able to look to the future, okay? You're too busy looking at the things you already have and that maybe you've go grown bored with. Okay, so this is also telling you to be the change you want to see for some of you, okay? So it's, it's, it's all about your attitude in July because you will have a lot of opportunities presented to you in love or work or family life or health. Um, you will have a lot of opportunities presented to you you need to make sure that <coughs> you're in the right frame of mind to see these opportunities, okay? And to take advantage of them as soon as you see them. 
So pay attention to that in July. In August we have the King of Swords. <coughs> so this is you, okay, for most of you. So the King of Swords, I'm seeing this as you keeping quiet, you having a poker face on when it comes to your plans. Okay? Because the King of Swords is someone who's very successful, very wise, always makes the right decision because he makes the fair decision, the balanced decision, the just decision. Okay? So he is very successful, very wise, but because he doesn't show his emotions, you can't really tell what he's thinking. So I see this as being you uh, sometime in August. Um, it can be that you do see this opportunity and you make plans on how you want to proceed with that. But it may be that you feel you need to keep quiet until you have a firmer grasp on things. Um, you're not sharing a lot of information with the people around you and you're very very focused and determined on your plan okay on making it a success um that's all good that's very positive the only thing with the king of swords is please make sure that you don't come off as cold or disinterested to people close to you, family and friends, and also to people at your work. Because you may be so focused in your work, uh, so engrossed in your work, that you come across as cold or blunt or just not interested. Okay, and people who may see this way could be some uh, superiors, okay, your bosses or um, people who would like to offer you jobs, for example. But when they try to approach you and you seem disinterested, um, they're not going to move forward with it, okay? So try to, yes, keep a poker face on, yes, focus on your goals, but at the same time, try to seem open also, okay? Or at least um pleasant kind okay but you're definitely <coughs> you're definitely focusing on your plans you're definitely thinking about your next move um you're very inspired okay and you see things coming together with your um projects or your job or your uh creative endeavors whatever it is um you see things clearly everything is coming into place okay in September, sorry, in September we have the Ten of Wands, okay, so that's another ten you have in your reading, so um, also talking about completions, also talking about um, endings, okay, so with the Ten of Wands this is a situation that has been very stressful for you, very demanding on you. Um, you may have had to carry other people's responsibilities as well as your own, um, unfairly so. Uh, you may have lost your way, okay, from your own goals because you've been so busy helping everyone else. And I feel like the energy of these two cars ties in together. You finally remember your plan and you see how it could work and with the ten of wands you're putting an end to helping everyone else and you're focusing on yourself okay so you're planting a seed and that is the seed of your own dream the seed of your own goal okay you have um, left those wands on the ground okay your your work is done yes you have carried other people on your shoulders but that is done, that is over, you've done your part, you've done what you said you would, what you took responsibility for, even though you didn't have to, it was theirs to take. 
And now it's finally time to cut that away from your life and focus on yourself for change. Okay, so that's very, very positive for you in September. Um, you're starting your own projects. It could be you're starting your own business, you're starting your own um, or your dream career. Okay, you're making changes. You're letting go of things that have distracted you. Okay, you're putting them aside and you're finally taking charge of your own dream, your own goals. In October, we have temperance. So I feel like this is coming in to tell you that you are finding balance, finally. Okay, you are finding finding your flow, finding your uh, groove. Okay, is what is coming through. Um, this is you using your skills, using your knowledge to turn the situations you're dealing with um, to your advantage. This is also you putting in the work, okay? You are, um, you have put that seed in the ground, you've put in the work, and in October you are patiently waiting, allowing for things to happen, allowing for situations to unfold. You are in a very balanced place. You have a lot of ideas still on how you want to proceed. Um, this could also be you keeping quiet about things. You are patient. You're waiting. And you're not um, jinxing a situation, if you will, or a project by telling everyone else that you may get it or that you may uh, do that Okay, before you actually do it. So you are tempering yourself, you're calming yourself down, making sure you're balanced and grounded. And you keep focusing on your project, but you allow for things to happen, okay, in their own time. This is also turning something into something else, okay, so it could be that you integrate new information into your existing um, skills or knowledge to use it to move forward. Um, this could also be you turn one relationship into something else, you turn a friendship into a relationship um, or a romantic relationship or you turn, you use your training to get yourself a job, okay, or you You use the skills that you have to develop them and turn them into new skills or more skills or better skills, if you will. But you're definitely finding your rhythm. You're definitely finding your flow. You are no longer confused. You're no longer pulled in a hundred directions. You're focused. Okay? and balanced and you're peacefully just working away okay in November we have the Queen of Wands and this is someone who will have a great influence in your life in November this can be a fire sign Aries, Leo or Sagittarius this is someone who's very inspired, man or woman. This is someone who's very inspired, um, who is very attractive, um, who has a very bubbly personality, okay, very charming personality, very charismatic. Um, this is someone who's very intuitive. And I feel like this person will either be giving you some guidance or you will be inspired by this person. And you'll find your 
drive and your courage and they will inspire you to seek progress and expansion. This could be a partner coming in for you that will expand your business and take it um, international. Okay, make it international, reach more people, reach people abroad with your business or your skills or your projects. And for some of you, she stands for travel. It's like you travel to conquer the world, okay? So it's either you're traveling to see the world, meet new people, see uh, places you haven't seen before, um, or you are traveling to present a project or an idea internationally at, at some kind of convention or something like that. Okay? But with the Queen of Wands, just know that you will be successful. Everyone is drawn to you and your work. You have a magnetic personality. For some of you, this could be a person that you meet that you're very drawn to, okay, in a romantic sense. And things get very passionate between the two of you very quickly. It could be that as well. In December, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a great card to have. This is telling you that you will have success in business, success with money. Your um, money will be increasing. Um, it will be a solid increase in your finances. Not here today and gone tomorrow. Okay, this will be substantial and um, consistent. Okay. It's like your investments are paying off. Okay, this is talking about richness, luxury, profit, growth. Okay, um, if this is a person that you're dealing with, this could be an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, someone who's very kind, very giving. Someone who is um, a good spirit, a good person who wants to help people. Okay, so um, they could have some kind of um, major effect on you in December in one way or another. But just know that this talks about stability coming in, security coming in for you. And it definitely talks about your money situation improving. Okay. The general energy you have for 2016 is the King of Raphael. Okay, so you've got three kings and a queen in your reading. To me, that says that you are maturing, you're coming into your own. Um, you're more sure of yourself, okay, more confident within yourself and your skills and your knowledge. Okay. Um, and the King of Raphael says, yes, it is safe to trust, the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions, okay? So with all these wands in your cards, I would say definitely follow your creative passions and follow your intuition this year. Um, there will be a lot happening, like I said, okay, a lot happening at the same time, but you will be successful in accomplishing everything you set out to accomplish, okay? And it's safe for you to trust, I'm seeing this as it's safe for you to trust yourself, okay, believe in yourself and your own skills, your own talents, um, your own vision. And um, if you choose someone to trust th this, this year, okay, with your projects or with the things that are very near and dear to you, um, make sure you can trust that person, okay? Don't go around sharing your secrets with everyone. Don't go around sharing your plans for businesses or ideas for businesses with everyone because someone may um, just take it from you or steal it or something like that, okay? And your overall advice for the year, you have Keeper of Secrets. So I feel like this ties in with um, the reading this far, okay? Keeper of Secrets... Um, the card is telling you to use your discernment 
Okay, so be logical, be rational. Confide in a trusted friend. Okay, keep silent about knowledge. So to me, that means again, don't share your ideas, especially ideas for business, with just anyone. Okay, pay attention to the people around you, pay attention to what you say or what they say. Um, you will know who to trust, okay, you're very intuitive and you will know who to trust. You will be very inspired, okay, this year. You will have a lot of ideas, I would say, write them down you will receive answers intuitively this year or through uh, through a trusted friend they will inspire you in some way it could be the queen of wands that, that we said would inspire you in some way okay and you will hold the key to a lot of situations issues problems I think we said that you would be called in to fix something, okay? But definitely keep yourself to yourself. This will be a very prosperous year for you, okay? You'll have a lot of money-making ideas. Um, and the cards are just advising you to keep those ideas to yourself, okay? In order for you to come up with the plan and the action to turn that idea into a reality, okay? Um, don't allow yourself to be distracted by other people's responsibilities, other people's ideas, other people's plans. Okay, focus on yourself. Allow for things to come to you, allow for things to manifest. Okay? Keep your poker face on this year. Okay? So that is what I see for you Aquarius for 2016. You're going to have to let me know how the year is going and if the cards apply to you or how they apply to your situation. Um, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic year and I will talk to you soon. Take care.